Hi there! I just wanted to make a quick video discussing a problem that's fairly common with asparagus or onion staging that's used in spacecraft by a wide range of players, myself included, of course. This uh, problem that I'm speaking of is the propensity for the spacecraft to spin or rotate around the center as it lifts off. Now the explanation for this is fairly straightforward. It's uh, simply a twisting around the radial decoupler due to off-center positions of the fuel lines and the struts. Particularly the fuel lines, because a lot of people don't realize that they function like struts and that they will add rigidity to your spacecraft. Now what I'm showing here is a very heavily broken design because I want to demonstrate how this looks a little bit first. I'm not going to go into any detail about uh, what the difference between asparagus or onion staging is. Uh, just know that they are arrangements of radial boosters like this. So in this case what I've done is I've made a spacecraft that is going to spin, and I'll show that in just a moment. The fuel lines are mounted very close to the, uh, the decouplers themselves, and they're on one side. You see there's nothing on the other side to, to offset it on the opposite side of the booster. And same thing with the struts down below. These struts are not very far from the decoupler either. Uh, they're adding some stability so that the engines don't flay outward. Uh, but the, uh, uh, again, they're only placed on one side and not on the other. So we're going to see that this spacecraft performs very badly. I'm going to go ahead and give it a launch, and you'll see what this looks like. Okay, here we are. Here's our spacecraft, and we'll go ahead and launch. Now, as we watch this lift off, you'll see that the outer boosters are, of course, going to drain very quickly. Before these even empty out, we're going to have significant rotation. It's very obvious already. You can see, this, the, see the spin quite clearly here. And if I try to keep up with the spin with the mouse here, you can see that that booster right in the middle is actually twisted relative to the center. Most of the time it's not very visible, especially if you have a lot of fuel lines or uh, struts in place. The twist can be very subtle, but it can still be enough to add up to a spin like this when you have a lot of thrust. And you'll notice I have SAS turned on and it's still doing this. Now granted I don't have any SAS modules on board, so it's just what the command pod can provide, but that's even so, it can be very difficult to offset this sort of rotation. So let's go back to the vehicle assembly building and look at this a little further. Okay, here we are. Here's our fixed version of the spacecraft. And if you take a look at this after I zoom out, you can see that there's a variety of things that I did differently on this. Otherwise, it's a completely identical spacecraft. What I did was I built this booster first, as usual, and duplicated that outward. I used radial symmetry to get the others around the sides, and then of course I uh, was able to duplicate them outward to make the additional stages. But you'll notice that I moved the fuel lines down to the bottom, and I put matching struts uh, on the opposite side of the booster as precisely as I could and make them meet right next to each other in the center. What this does is, since the fuel lines act as struts, this balances it out so that the rigidity is not all applied to one side of the booster and not the other, uh, causing a, a twist around the decoupler. Now, of course, also, by moving them as far away from the decoupler as I could, the leverage works in our advantage and helps keep the whole thing stable. Now, likewise, also, I, I strengthened the top of it. I framed the entire booster in uh, all four corners, so to speak, uh, by putting struts at the top in pairs, and I did the same thing. I tried to get as precise as I could with meeting them in the middle before duplicating everything outward. And those are the only changes that I've made here. Otherwise, the spacecraft is the same. So let's go ahead and launch, and you'll see that this one is a lot more stable. So here we are. Here's the spacecraft on the launch pad. This is the fixed version, and once again, I've turned on SAS, and we will just go ahead and launch. Now, as you'll see here, I should be able to get all the way to the point of ejecting the first stage and have absolutely minimal rotation here. It's almost impossible to get rid of it completely with a large number of radial boosters that are stacked upon each other this way, because you just can't be completely precise with your placement of, of the struts and the fuel lines, simply because of the lack of a snap feature at the second end of those things. But as you can see, we're just about to lose that first stage, and there it goes. I'll drop it off, and as you can see, the rotation here is absolutely minimal. It's moved so little that it's hardly even noticeable. So as you can see, this is something that can be mitigated. You just have to be very careful with it and understand what the source of the problem is. So with that, I hope that this has been helpful to you. I hope you enjoy the video, and uh, good luck in you, all of your spacecraft designs in the future. Thanks for watching.